Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you open up your Steam Deck and there's a slice of ham behind the screen, it's like, well, that explains why it's not working. I got a cold and ham ticket. Welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come. I can do that too, but I can point at you. It could be like a. Um, yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm just doing the Italian Spider Man, that dude who like always walks into the scene. And he's like, Ooh. Well, how long has like Spider Man like shot the webs like, while throwing the goat? I think that's always been the case because it was like a it was like a thing to stop him from like shooting the webs while he, when he punches people. You put, what did he poke him in the eye? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm Vin. That's Jordan. Pedro's dead. You know uh, how that works. Uh, we say Pedro's dead. You know how like Agent. Colson went to the island. Yeah, he, he went to Tahiti. It's a magical place. Yeah. yeah. Uh, once a year, we send uh, Pedro to Tahiti and, uh, you know. For some rest and yeah. rehabilitation. And when the new one, I mean, when he comes back, uh, he'll be back like next week. Yeah, we, so we, we got to peel the shrink wrap off. Yeah, it's pretty fun. much. It's like, it's like one of those ASMR channels where you just peel the shrink wrap off your Pedro. It's like, God Jeez. damn it. What? We don't have an air compressor. We got to inflate this thing manually. All right. Wait, we gotta inflate it where? God damn it. <laughs> I have the same place as always on the pinky toe, man. Um yep. what's new? Hey, shot realm dynamic, watching this live. I gotta finish the bit. Helping us form. Cocaine Voltron. There we go. Done and done. Um uh, I am back. I did not have to buy a like emergency Lenovo thread ripper system, which is awesome. I'm very excited about that. If you're playing the home game. Threadbooper wasn't cutting on reliably. And after, you know, you, you immediately watch all the YouTube videos and are like, hey, try these billion other things. I'm like, quit lying to yourself. It's always the power supply button. It's always DNS. Got a new power supply, EVGA bronze, 850 watt. They're on sale right now. Actually, I got two of them. It was like 70 bucks. Plop that in. Now, I was thinking about this, Jordan. When it comes to PC components, when I was waiting for the Amazon, which is torturous now do you get this in canada once the amazon gets like close enough to your house they will give you the gps map on the no. ordering page and it you can follow it from stop to stop and it'll say three stops remaining and i'm like well i'm not doing anything but watching this until yeah your mash refresh see i don't i don't i i've Flip-flopped. I want that, but simultaneously I'm aware I don't need it because the minute I order anything, I'm just going to be mashing refresh on that page. Oh, you don't have to refresh it. It does it, it automatically. It, it's, it's live it's update. Live. Well, you got to refresh it anyways, just to make sure that like you don't, you're not getting any cache data from the browser. <laughs> you got to get like a full fresh pull from the server. Uh. <laughs> anyway, I'm sitting there chilling out, waiting on like, one more step to go. I'm like, this is the most bullshit component of all PC components that no one... If, if you do right into the show, let us know. Have you ever ordered a power supply and you were like, ooh, I can't wait. I'm going to be so happy. I'm looking so forward to doing a power supply replacement. I, I mean, I guess if the alternative is having like no computer, then I can see that being a thing. Even then, you're like, do I really need a PC, man? Because <laughs> I'm just going to go out in the woods and chop down some trees. Hey, man, that could be a thing. But yeah, I went through that and pulled all the cables out and swapped them to cut back on. I was talking about it in the pre pre super shows and uh, like cable management, like the first 30%, 40%. I'm like, yeah, this is going to, then I got it to cut on. Like, you know what? Good enough. But it's so easy to manage cables these days because you have like holes in the case to run stuff. Oh. Yeah, they, they and they they uh, they shift the the side panel forward a little bit so there's plenty of room on the on the back ends. Right. Uh, the so one thing I was stuff away. genuinely worried about is like the dual EPS connectors because you know the kids these days they put the power supplies at the bottom of the case. Jordan, it's weird, and um, I have the EPS connectors are at the top of the thread over motherboard, which is. EATX, which is like extra long. They just got around. So that happened. Also, good news, everybody. I'm on Debian testing on this box because I didn't have anything to do the rest of the day because the power supply was the problem. So I wasn't like swapping RAM sticks out trying to figure out what exactly the root cause was. I went ahead and updated everything to Debian testing. So now we got the captions. That's awesome. Very happy about that. Also, one thing we finished before we did the pre pre super shows. 
wizards and shit. Yeah, it doesn't fit, but it says wizards and oh, it's too hot. Can I make it small enough? There you go. Square. Tiny, it's 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 a very tiny shit. You know, you know when you like eat a bunch, but it mostly gets digested. That that's what you got. It's it's awesome, man. It's kind of brilliant. Uh, that is a show that we are doing, which is a straight up spoiler cast for House of the Dragon and um, Rings of Power. We yeah. did episode one last week. Sandy was kind enough to join in, and we're just going through it. We used to do a show called Game of Who back in the day. So th- this has got hints of that. You know, that was a show that we do when uh, Game of Thrones and Doctor Who were running at the same Concurrently. time. Yeah. For, for, for that, like, brief two years, and then, you know, Doctor Who scheduling. Well, got you know, de- depending on, like, whatever gets delayed, Game of Who might make a return, because Doctor, yeah. there's a good chance now that uh, House of the Dragon or House of Dragon. Jeez, better name, people. Hot D, baby. Hot, Hot D's. D. Hot D's and Doctor D's will be back at one time. Do- <laughs> uh, what uh, was it? House of the Rings and uh, Throne of Power. Right. Yeah, sure, man. Anyway, go check that out if you're a patron. Uh, that's in your RSS feed. Uh, there'll be even be a dedicated video version of it this week. So there is that. Jordan, what's new with you, man? Oh, not much. Not much. If anyone's looking for a DevOps job, work, who's able to work remote, uh, hit, hit me up in, in Discord. I, I might have something for you. Uh, yeah, um, what if I'm outside of Canada? If you're outside, not, not a problem. Not a problem? Not a problem. Okay. We, we got, we got, there's like a dude in Argentina. There's a dude in Australia. Uh, yeah. So the company doesn't really care about location. Okay. Uh, but I, I have a position to backfill because... <laughs> Because my responsibilities at work just got a lot more responsible, I guess. But you get the new guy. I got, yeah, I got the new guy. He's 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 good, but you know, he's he's only got two hands. He can only jerk off so many dicks, right? All right, fair enough. Is he learning though? Oh no, he's 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 a good, he's good. Um, he's just lacks experience, right? Like it's 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 one of it's those, those lessons that only time will give you. Look, time and failure, right? Like. Mm. Do you do think it'd be compatible with her horse? I mean, I don't even know it's compatible with the horse anymore. I tried installing Windows 11 on it, and apparently now it has ascended to a higher plane of existence. It's the Steam Linux update of the week. There we go. We figured it out. Hey, um, we made it happen. It's the thing. Yeah. So, yeah, I got a, I, I didn't buy a Steam Deck, but yet I need to throw that on because I we were even talking about that earlier. Because uh, our next story, if you break your deck, it can be a tragic time in any person's life if you've broken it's your deck. It's a very painful experience oh, man. when you right? break your deck. Yeah. Just like snap your deck in half. Yeah. So, uh, now, Valve's got a thing, though. You can take it to the deck garage. You can get well, you, de- you, 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 can, you can mail it to the deck garage, I well, guess. I don't know. You show up outside of Valve and just like, fix it, bring it back. Uh, Steam yeah, Deck. Just, just go up to Gabe's house. Right. My Steam Deck is broken. Don't do that. That's a joke. Shut up. Uh, we are happy to announce today that the new Steam Deck repair centers are now open, leading to me to believe there's more than one. You can take your Steam Deck in for repair or replacement. Devices will now go to one of our repair centers. Once there, our team will diagnose the device, repair it if needed, and uh, ship the fixed unit back to you. Well, I, did, I didn't expect that. I thought they were just going to torch it and send you the video. Um, and they do a good job here, man. They just remind you, like, hey, you know, you can get the uh, official replacement parts from iFixit if you want to play the home game. But let's talk about a couple of scenarios that these yeah. repair centers are going to cover. Jordan, what's the first one? All right. Well, the idea being, you know, if your unit develops like an intermittent button failure, you're pressing buttons, nothing's happening. Uh, maybe one of your joysticks is acted up. Yeah, you can uh, ship it out to one of the repair centers and they'll uh, diagnose it, replace the button, test, calibrate the unit and send it back to you, according to this article. But, you know, if you if you want to play, let your dog play with your Steam Deck and that doesn't go super well. Uh, they are not going to fix that for you. They also have, they're also offering uh, out of warranty service as well, uh, where um, all, the, all the repairs are going to be free if it's under warranty and it's covered uh, and they're under the terms of the warranty. But if it's out of warranty, uh, they'll still take a look at it. They'll still run a diagnostic and they'll tell you like, hey, this is the thing that's wrong with your deck. Uh, and this is what it's going to cost if you want us to fix it. If you want to try fixing it, we'll just send it back to you. But, um, you know, the, 
that seems very reasonable. Um, it yeah. does, but to me, it feels like there's a glaring thing missing because when you're offering a repair service, I like to have a menu. I like to have pricing uh, when I see things like this because like, I need to know how much because, hey, maybe I want this other thing fixed while it's in the shop. You got to get it tuned up. Right. I Like, I don't want to go through the trouble of, you know, it, okay, hear me out. Hear me out. You got to make the executive decision. Financially, is it worth me fucking with this and getting the replacement part? Or is it just better off if I ship it to Valve? What's going to... I mean, I mean, it, it, it depends, right? Like, um, all, It all really the, depends the, right now because you have zero idea. I Like, I, I don't know. Like, I don't trust myself with repairing small electronics because I will apply way too much force. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I would be likely just to ship it off and be like, you know what? I'm going to give it to someone who actually knows what the fuck they're doing. Okay. Uh, Thinking but, outside you know, of oneself. Thinking outside of oneself, like... I, I don't know. There, there are there are a lot of people who don't want to like try and crack open a Steam Deck and try to fix it themselves. That's a daunting Thinking task. Thinking outside of oneself without trying to support your original argument. I that's that's <laughs> come on, I, man. I, uh, help me out. Work. With I don't. Me, baby. I don't know. I don't know what the, I don't know what you fucking want, man. <laughs> what what I'm trying to get at is I'm okay. Me, I'm going to crack something apart. I'm going to tear it apart. It doesn't matter. I'll take it out. I got a hot air station. I mean, whatever. Sure. I, I'm looking at it. And I'm like. Man, I don't even want to fuck with that. That is not worth my time. But I want to be able to say, hey, Valve, what's this going to cost if I get you to... Re- okay, let's just say it's like a screen replacement or something like that. I'm just making something that'd be easy to do. But I'm like, okay, I can get the, I can get the screen and get that. It's going to take me an afternoon. Okay, do it for like 200 bucks. But Valve's like, you know what? We'll do it for 225 plus shipping. And I'm like, you know what? You take care of that. Yeah, I, I mean, like, m- maybe it behooves them to have, like, a list of, like, hey, here's what, like, approximate costs of these out-of-warranty services are. Right. Uh, also, is there going to be, like, a surcharge if I'm like, hey, re- replace the screen? And Val's like, okay, and they get it, and they pick the screen up, and there's a slice of ham under it. Is that going to cost extra? I or mean, they're just going to be impressed with my ham wizardry. I, I mean, maybe. Or may- maybe they're like, ah, he found the secret ham model. Send him a prize. <laughs> We get to go to Steam, like this is the golden ticket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you open up your Steam Deck and there's a slice of ham behind the screen, it's like, well, that explains why it's not working. I got a golden ham ticket. I don't fuck. No, I just want to fuck with them and send, send them in a Steam Deck in like a refrigerated box. Yeah, with, with a. <laughs> no, send, send one entirely encased in chocolate. <laughs> there's something wrong with my Steam Deck. You know what? If you do that, and Valve is entirely within the rights to tell you to go fuck yourself and throw it a fire. After they yeah. eat after they, the yeah, chocolate. After they, yeah. yeah, after they eat the chocolate. I yeah, mean, like, yeah, chocolate. I'm, I'm not going to say no to free chocolate. Chocolate ducks. Uh, are, are you going to say uh, no to, uh, oh, yeah, we got the uh, these uh, personalized shopping things. Yeah, there's a new update to the uh, carousel that has come out. They're adding hubs, uh, personalized shopping experience. Hubs are going to try and collate the data from the stuff that you're, fr- you're playing, your friends are playing, devs that you follow. And the idea is that you're going to start getting more games that you are going to be more likely to buy or are more interested in. Uh, this has been a continuing problem on uh, on Steam for a while, discoverability, ever since they got rid of Greenlight and they kind of open up the floodgates. There's a lot of stuff on Steam now, and it's difficult to find something that you are probably going to like and continue playing. So uh, Valve has been working on a lot of automation to support this. This is the latest attempt. I will say, though, this does kind of require you to be using Steam social networking capabilities to gain the full benefit because it depends on like what your friends are playing and what you're playing and developers you follow. Which is not a thing I do, so it's going to be of limited use to people like us. But I guess pe- for more casual users, um, this is uh, hopefully will be an improvement. Hopefully I mean, we'll maybe. Yeah. I'm like looking at see. the categories. We got like simulation, sci-fi. Yeah, this is like a basic. Like this is just a nightmare right here. The categories, like yeah, that's yeah. broken down too much. Um, I d- Valve, I'm simple. I need two categories: good, not good. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's the green category and the red category. What does it mean? <laughs> Two bins. Every time I hear about, like, an update about, like, um, Valve working on, like, relation, real, uh, what, am I, what am I looking for? Relational databases. Uh, suggestions based on current title. Sure, yeah. Like, hey, well, we're rec- working rec- on recommendations. recommendations. Every time I, every time, 
I did that today, and I'm not going to pull it up live because I didn't think ahead. I'm dumb. As I go to um, the latest near game, and I see what's recommended under that, I laugh, and I continue on with my day. Okay. Well, what, 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 was, what was some of the stuff that was getting recommended? Just anime shit? Like Ham Simulator. I mean, stuff that you're like, this is none of these games or anything like this game. <laughs> I mean, I mean, there was that one point in Near Autonomata where 2B just like goes on a three hour rant about Ham. So I don't know. I guess pretty related. <laughs> well, hang on. You know what? Now we've talked it up too much. Um, <laughs> okay. We need actual evidence. Yeah. No. Wait, wait. Steam store. Let, let's go check this out. Near Automatopia. Usually, this is the one I go to. In all fairness, nah. why? Because it's the first one that pops up. Um, technically, this one is newer since it's not a remake. Let's see what's suggested. Uh, what Hor- game? Horizon Final Fantasy Terminator Resistance. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Horizon. I will say eight out of ten. Seven out of ten. Okay. Don't care about Final Fantasy. Got a war. Okay, another seven out of ten. Mass Effect. Don't care. Spider Man. Doom a turtle. Just like. Uh... Yeah, I'm not seeing a lot of spectacle brawlers in here. Yeah, I, I guess like the category here is AAA because you get like Sekiro, you get um, yeah, you know, like Monster Hunter, Fantasy Star Online, Spider Man, Mass Effect Leg- Legendary Edition. Yeah, fan- fancy graphically intensive games. I guess is is the genre here and not. Spectacled brawler, philosophical head, brain fuck. Right. That near Automata was. Um, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Like, um, maybe, maybe it will improve on that. It's all going to be on like the main store page. So I guess check it out if it rolls out and see. Send us some hate mail if you found any good games through it, or so, if it send if it recommended you a bunch of tra- uh, garbage. Yeah. So uh, I want to get this next thing I mentioned. We can talk about a couple of new games that came out this week. Uh, the developers of Dynacad reached out and they're like, hey, here's some, I might have only been able to, uh, might have didn't get around to reading that email until this week because they sent it last week. And like, here's some Oops. keys to play the early access demo before it's public. Sorry. Anyway, I want to do a solid to them and give them a mention. Uh, this is, you can currently get a demo. It's available for Linux and Windows plan release date 2022. So we're kind of zeroing in on that, aren't we? A little, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, got, got, got some time left. I did download the demo and play, play around with it for five minutes. It reminds me a lot of like the 3D Sonics on like the 32X or like the Saturn. Uh, game, at least, at least gameplay wise. Um, okay. But it's like it's 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 a lot like more slingshotty. There's like a hookshot Bionic Commando type mechanic. Um, as well, uh, but yeah. Other other than that, it's like go fast, zip around, do some isometric three uh, D ish platforming. You, you can't say go fast. That's the their thing. They'll sue us. Um, oh shit! You're right. <laughs> fuck. Um, m- m- must increase velocity. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There we go. Hey, I don't see any rings in here, but yeah, when I first saw this, I was like, oh, this, oh, Dynacat, uh Adventure three D or something like that, maybe. Yeah. So. Uh, it's, it's there if you want to play around with it. Um, I didn't get a chance to play, but I mean, even the levels, like they know what they're going for. I think this is like, you know, oh, Hey, this is something we grew up. We really like Sonic Robo Blast 3D or whatever it was. Yeah. And we want to do our own take on it. Yeah. yeah and ab- absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, cause that looks like Dr. Katnick that, yeah, that looks like tails and some other furry had a baby. Um, I, I, I don't know. It's they, they, they hit us up. So, you know, it, Good on good on them for releasing a Linux version. Uh, you do uh, need two required packages. You need um, libglfw3 and libopenal. I think most. Of, I think those come with the Steam runtime. At least OpenAL does. Oh, that's just what they put in the um, requirements. All right. Well, make sure you have those installed. If you start up the demo and it crashes the desktop, make sure those packages. Hey are man, installed. if it crashes, you can just uh, since you're playing the game, you can just log in. You know, you can fix the code in the game, Jordan. Yeah, you can, or you can just run it in line. But this one, uh, One Dreamer, uh, it's out. Uh, you can get it uh, now for about fifteen dollars can- or fifteen seventy one Canadian, and it's uh, it's an adventure game with some coding components, um, where you can uh, mess around with the world in C sharp esque pseudo code. So basically, it is depressed Unity developer of the game. Uh, but yeah, um, the story is about a burned out developer trying to find inspiration uh, and trying to 
you know, uh, fulfill their lifelong dream. Looks like it could be good. The the art style is very striking. Striking. It reminds me a bit of like uh, Super Brothers, uh, Sword and Sorcery. Yeah, the, yeah with the hipster pixel. Yeah, yep. Um, mostly positive reviews. Uh, so yeah, if you're into uh, adventure games or into coding games, definitely give this one a look. What are the system requirements? Uh, it's OpenGL. It needs OpenCL. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I guess that's just for uh, the graphics compatibility. I wonder if it's doing any GPU computer Bitcoin mining. <laughs> Hush. Um, maybe it's needs. To, maybe you get a free NFT that you make. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I mean, Reddit's been giving those out. Yeah. Buy one dreamer. Yeah, thirteen fifty nine and sell regularly fifteen ninety nine. I mean, it looks the business. You gotta yeah. give it that. Like this is this isn't like oh position it. What are we pseudo? Yeah, I don't know. Like, is this as somebody who doesn't do any type of development work whatsoever? Would this be something that you're interested in? Because when I see anything like you need to type and do software, I'm like, uh, uh-uh, uh, uh-uh, uh. I, I based on what I see in the trailer, it's a little more basic. Like everything is a class or whatever, and you can be like, ah, change attribute from friendly to not friendly or whatever. Or is 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 a dog? It's it's a cat now. It's cat now. I don't know. Uh, you know. However, this game is uh very much like Celeste. Uh, the speed running precision. Yeah, it, it, it's it, it's hipster pixel, right? <laughs> it has pixels. That's kind of what I was talking about. I don't know. Were you like, reprogram? Remember the um that three D just like fucking drugs game that we had where you could yeah. start hacking the players. Mm-hmm. That was pretty. The, the, the- there was a, like another Zelda like one as well that mm-hmm. you could you could do stuff with. Can you do some it, stuff like that in Transistor too? Uh, a, a little bit, yeah. Um, it's it's always it's always an interesting uh, it's always an interesting uh, mechanic when they introduce like coding into a game. Um, I don't know. So I, I guess like some games do it better than others, uh, but it it's 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 tricky um, because not everyone can think like a programmer, mm-hmm. which is which Good. is a thing you you run into thing. quite a bit. Yes, yeah. that, that, trust me, take that as an advantage, a skill yeah. point towards you if you're not thinking like that um that was it it was uh like being able to switch out like hacking you know npcs and stuff like that. that's even a thing in the axiom verge too mm-hmm. that i okay. ran into but i started running and i was like are you gonna make me do this constantly yes you are i haven't played axiom verge 2 in a minute this is what mm-hmm. i'm getting at so i don't know depending on how heavy you, got, you got the shakes <laughs> got, any, got any of that uh axiom verge? Uh, no man what, what i'm saying is like <laughs> don't make it feel like work and if it doesn't feel like work Maybe one dreamer is something you want to play around with. I uh, I might be tempted to play around with it just just on, for the visual tour. Yeah, it, it, it looks very good. You, I always really like people pushing like what pixel art can do. Right. I mean, it, like uh, like uh, Doko Roko. Man, you know what? It's atmospheric two D. So you already come out saying, "Hey, all right, you got my attention." It's a platformer. Okay. Swift evasive sword combat. Maybe you got my attention there too, man. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Like, okay. What do you think? I mean, again, this just out of the box looks solid, right? Yeah, yeah, it really does. Like, like uh, impressive. The, the, the backgrounds, the, yeah. the monster designs. Like, oh, it looks super expensive. My one gripe is like, your dude is so tiny. It's it's like uh-huh. little meat boy. It's yeah. I, I, I don't know, but like, I, I guess that kind of works if you want to like really emphasize the scope because the the whole plot of this game is like you're climbing this tower to get the, to the top and like kill the Crimson King or something. I don't now, know. You will notice. Here's something I, I want to put into because uh, I I wrote in the notes and I'm like, uh, you didn't really have anything in here for uh, gameplay. This this new mm-hmm. trailer. Here's the original trailer as of yesterday. Is all the information that we were given for the game, mm-hmm. which is this. That's it. Nope. That's Full it. release. Fade to black. Now we have a little bit of gameplay. So now I'm a little extra interested in this. When's this coming out? Nine hundred nine. Fuck. I'll just buy yeah. it. Just a. Yeah. Looks good. Um. Yeah. For uh, looks like it's a little meat boyish in its uh, in its design, where you got to be a little uh, you got to be very precise with your uh, with your jumps. I mean, it looks like a one-person jam, so like, okay, yeah. fine. Eric, hello, Eric. If you're doing vanity searches later on to try to find that, yeah, I'll give you ten bucks for this, just to try it out. It's got boss. You uh, action precision platforming. That is uh, 
kryptonite to you, isn't it? Ah, I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of it. Uh some sometimes they're good. I liked Blasphemous. Um I liked Owlboy. Um mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, it, it it's 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 not a genre I'm a super huge fan of, but like if if it's good, it's good, right? Like All right. Yeah, I can yeah. see that. Uh we got some game updates. The big one this week. Ugh. Out of the kindness of their heart, man. Like I wouldn't expect this from a company mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> creators of Bioshock 2k games right mm-hmm. 2k games like man you thought we forgot about Bioshock but no you the customer are important to us so we need to break that shit on Linux and <laughs> oh yeah that's kind of launchers yeah um, I first read about this on Linux underscore gaming they link to what they dare call it the quality of life update which Jordan, what important quality of life updates does this all new launcher add? Well, to you know, you know, now there's with the addition of a new launcher, you have a store where you can purchase new content for your two oh. K games. Because you know, that's the, that's that's what everyone wants is to just purchase that hot two K games content from a store outside of Steam. That's ah. really what the gamers want. Okay. Yeah. And th- then, like, uh, they they went through and they added a bunch of launchers to a bunch of their other games as well. Not great because you know. If if, if if you can't get past the launcher, it's probably not going to launch in wine, which is uh, un- a little I, well, unfortunate. Well, Jordan, I don't have to worry about wine because I have a native version of this game on Linux. Oh, oh yes. Uh, the Bi- Bio- Bioshock Infinite ported by VP Virtual Programming. Now, the response to that is this breaks that version completely. Oh, boy. So you're not that- going to, you have to, if you're going to play it now, you got to play it through Proton. Also, you got to deal with a launcher, which you're like, isn't that a pain in the ass to deal with on a Steam Deck? Yes, it is. Well, they they, uh, they straight up say like, hey, don't put launchers in your games. We will list them as like not Steam Deck compatible if mm-hmm. you do. Are they going to like, and here's the thing. Are they going to go back now and uh, re-rate, uh, re-rate uh, Bioshock Infinite in those games? Or are they um, going to still list as, uh, list as verified or whatever? No, I demand <laughs> whatever. Like, I'm going like, to listen to me. I, I, I insist uh, that they do. I, I want them to get fuck, medieval on launchers. Mm-hmm. And I know some people, that's anti competitive. Show me one person not directly employed by a company responsible for making launchers that likes launchers. Have you ever seen a launcher and went, awesome? <laughs> no. No. I, I don't. I, I think it's more like, oh, damn it. It's another God thing I got to click through. Like, before what? Do I get to make another thing? account? Fuck. All right. Are you online on Steam? Okay. Are you online on the other thing? No. Uh, okay. Uh, no, Why no, can't you, we see you? Gotta, you got to log into Bethesda Net. And, mm. Oh, well, we'll get to Bethesda Net in a fucking minute, actually. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, good news, everybody. Good news. Uh, but yeah, ban hammer those launchers. Well, like, yeah, put them in like scorched earth. Use it. Steam Deck is an excuse, but just like, by the way, this is a launcher. Make bring back the blink tag. Do it for <laughs> yeah, me. Don't, don't we use played uh, Cursed Food. Yes, we threw chairs a while at back. It, actually. Yeah, free to uh, play game. Yes, I was released originally as an April Fool's joke, and then turned into a real boy. Uh, but now, uh, but now they have a new update out. Uh, it. The sound, the sounds of propellers in the distance. Yeah, if I, I guess they're they're adding a helicopter. To I don't know. This is the. I mean, a, a bit light on the update details, considering a little there bit. Is no, there's no words. That, yeah, well, listen, Vin. A picture says a thousand words. So this is this is clearly a thousand Bitch, word, I can't word news read. post. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, but I don't know. It looks like that was that. It looks like the the foreground is the area from like the test firing area where you can dick around and play with all the weapons. Mm-hmm. But if but there are vehicles in this game. Uh, we got we all piled into one uh, that one time we played it on the stream, and then we got shot in the head one at a time as we were all in, clumped together in one place. I ran, I ran, then I got shot in the head. But uh, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, realized- I was like I was like in shotgun. I'm like doop doop doop. Headshot. We were having a grand time, just like puttering around, and then I saw people start dropping. I'm like, I'm out, peace out. Uh, there's a video recording uh, on our web zone about with that, but I mean, we had a fun enough time, like goofing yeah, around I, Battle Royale. I know. Yeah, it's 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 a perfectly serviceable uh, BR, and there are people actually still playing it, which is there cool. are, and we were playing the completely free version. Um, if you want the uh, full Fode pack, it's 196. dollars Oof. Yeah, it's a lot of DLC. Their DLC is twenty bucks a pop, no exceptions. Metal zombie pack, fire dragon pack, street street kid, lone wolf. Wolf. They have a vampire hunter D pack. Okay. Wait, is it oh. licensed? 
I, well, it, I don't know, but that there's like a dude with a hat and sunglasses. Oh, in the, I see in the a vampire world. hunter pack. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You just threw the D in. I threw the D in. Never yes. mind. No longer interested. Um, All right. With your. Well, boo. Uh, knockoffs. What do we have? Um, vampire hunter F. There we go. Uh, well, th- we got a new version of Into the Breach out. Um, they released the advanced edition a while ago, came with Linux support, even though it ran perfectly fine under Wine because it's it's a subset game game. They're not very demanding. Well, we got to um, give them credit. I mean, they didn't have a native Linux version for like a year. Yeah, and then and then they they said, hey, we're we're gonna work on one. We got to prioritize the uh, the Mac version first, um, but uh, and the and the PC version. But they did, and you know. Credit to Subset. They held up their end of the bargain, which I'm always going to be a fan of. Uh, Plus, you know, Into the Breach is just a fucking amazing game. I love that shit. It's so good. But new improvements. Uh, They uh, changed the the, uh, spawnlings, the spiderlings, which are an enemy that certain... uh, enemies will spawn in addition to their being present. Uh, They debuffed them, so now they're uh, not affected by other units that give them buffs. Um, Secret characters... spider bros. Yeah, uh, secret pilots can no longer get the invulnerable buff, buff or the popular hero buff because they're super secret. What else? Um, they changed some of the Vec hormone stuff. Uh, you can't enrage frozen enemies. Lots of little tweaks uh, that change the game very slightly, uh, probably make it run a little more consistent. I'm sure people who are speedrunning into the breach are really mad about this because they've probably changed a bit of the back end logic for how things spawn. But you know what? Boo, boo hoo! I'm not a speedrunner. I don't give a shit about that kind well, of stuff. Even, so. they, 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 listen, if there's one group of people that un- understand how to get previous versions of games out of Steam, yeah. speedrunning speed community. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I, I'm all for it, man. Uh, yeah, our Spider Bros, minor enemies. That's boo. But there's also that better backup system. So apparently, people were having issues with save games getting corrupted. Yeah, and like subset games has kind of been a had a bit of an issue at least with FTL. I don't know if I don't I don't recall if they, this was present within to the reach where like the save games wouldn't sync but the achievements would. So like uh-huh. you'd have you'd have like a bunch of stuff unlocked on one computer and unless you manually copied the saved over, then you wouldn't get it in the other machine. But uh, I yeah, could hopefully, see that problem. Yeah, but uh, hopefully, hopefully that stuff is all fixed. Yeah, just love love to see uh, Into the Breach get more uh, get more support. I actually I actually installed it on my phone. I got the uh, free Netflix version because I was I was curious how Netflix games actually work. This is your bi monthly reminder that Netflix has games. LGC yeah. cares. So tur- turns out it doesn't actually run in in the Netflix app. You just just you can just you know install a copy of Into the Breach on your phone and it has a little Netflix icon. But you have to hey, sideload it, or does this come no, out of the Play it, Store? Yeah, it comes out of the Play Store. Huh? Yeah. All right. I I, w- I was surprised, and it's like the native version, so you know, g- good on them, making it easy to play their games, unlike some companies. But you know, there, there there's some maybe, maybe maybe you don't like giant robots. Maybe you like hitting balls. Jordan has a deep-seated trauma when it comes to golf. I, don't know what it I, is. I, I have I have many deep-seated traumas, like, but yes, there is one related to golf. Golf is he just doesn't grok it correctly. However, pretty much everybody else, we like playing this game called golf with your friends. Free sports update. It's pretty decent, man. Uh, they did a gang of fixes to the existing hockey and dunk modes variations in which you can play look there's a little video does it have anything informative in it probably not it's 10 seconds long the ability to add power-ups that's a new thing it's a free update launches on september 15th uh they even fixed an issue where like inflatable objects in the bouncy council course which i didn't know about gotta go play with that were invisible on linux that's been fixed and of course they're going to be doing a uh, cosmetic paid pack to go along with that look at that you can have popcorn and golf and balls with hands. All right. Oh, you can get a Jason mask. Huh? Yeah. Look at you. Could, you could. Uh, can you get a machete and like chop up the other balls? Let's see. What does the sports theme cosmetic pack have? Five hats, two floaties, two stickers, and one trail. All right. Whatever. Right. Fourteen ninety nine. It's been a while since we played it. Now the only thing I, I think we brought this up. Pretty much any time they ever do an update to golf with your friends is. That's an interesting balancing act they got to do because uh, of, of jank versus like exactly actually. no small amount of the game's charm has and continues to be based on its jank, right? Mm. It's that group laugh out loud moment. I'm like, oh man, this thing's so busted. Physics don't work that way. Yeah, like it's it's like it's like Goat Simulator. You can't fix too much because that's kind of the joke. They're working on a new one. 
There was there was that one where it's like Goat Simulator, but it's all old people. I really wanted to try that out. I don't know. I saw one of the games, uh, the, what was it, the Game Awards or whatever, the, a couple of weeks ago. They had a trailer. Mm. So, yeah, they're working on more goat, which good on Coffee Stain. Yeah. Like, yeah. They, they got to write that goat check for like three years, man. I think it was print money for them. Oh, yeah. So, good on that. Golf the sports. Go check it out. What do we get up next? Coming up next, we finally get confirmation on the specs of the Intel cards that we're not going to buy. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. And FSR has the new version out. Welcome back. It's the news. It's where we talk about the non-Steam related stuff that's happening in Linux gaming or lands. But, you know, so, sorry, I got to I got to I got to shortchange you. We got to talk about shilling. We got to talk about the sport. We no, got to talk no. about the Wait. the financial realities of operating a podcast for 10 years. Um <laughs> that we can only really do it with your support, which you can give us by heading on over to no, patreon.com. You're, you're just a penguin throwing mm, money around. That's yes. all you're doing. Mm. Man, this Give thing, me those okay, this, like new overlaid OBS looks dope as fuck. If you were seeing what I'm seeing right now, because it looks like we're like an t- advanced targeting system, right? It's like do- stay on target, stay on target. You stay on target. Head on over to Linux Gamecast, patreoncom Gamecast. Yeah, I, I, Become a I, subscriber. Give me a minute. Um, I'm taking a screenshot of how dope it looks. <laughs> okay, all Give right, me a yeah, second, yeah. man. I, I, got, I gotta keep shilling for the people, man. Otherwise, they, they 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 won't sign up and right, become fine. an executive producer okay, or there. get their name Are in the credits or get access to our Discord channel. Morty. <laughs> Morty, Morty, you got to tell the people about the fantastic deals. Yeah, um, you can get into our Discord channel uh, via subbing to us on Patreon. Got to link your account uh, with uh, Patreon and Discord. You can also get in doing the same thing with Twitch if you sub to us here on twitch.tv. I love that. It's a bit of a litmus, litmus test. And, you know, we used to be able to, we still got IRC. It's completely free. And our bot mm-hmm. is working. I want to thank um, Empty and Strader for finally having a powwow. Tire, the, tirelessly hacking away right also empty there's a pr request waiting that's only a year and a half old from strider to update shot maybe it did it whatever that was it was fun to watch that take place in our discord but our irc is always linked for our live show between yeah. discord and um irc and twitch chat all together so just yeah. hang out Getting into our Patreon or getting into our Discord is pretty good because we uh, we do game streams. Uh, Ven does Trackmania on Tuesdays and th- uh, Fridays. I do Back for Blood on Thursdays. Ven also is there. And yeah, if you want to play with us, uh, if you want to jump in, you can RSVP to the things. Only RSVP. We, we, we brought this up on Thursday. Only RSVP if you're going to actually play. Um, Breaking news. Uh, this just came across my desk. Um, ladies and gentlemen. The PR has been merged. Oh, da-da-da. praise the sun. Amazing. The prophecy has been fulfilled. But yeah, um, sign, sign up, play some games with us. It's good stuff. We got to start. Effect, literally thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars. Yeah. You, that's why you, you got to go over to store.linuxgamecast.com and buy some t-shirts so that we can get more crazy effects and drum machines and we can have like LGC dubstep remixes. I'll buy you a drum machine, but you got to use it. All right. Um, shit, my, my boss was actually playing around with the drum machine uh, recently. So. Well, every time I think about that, I'm like, yes, uh, right if you get done using that smoke machine. <sighs> it's over there. Here. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, I gotta put it in like the, uh, I gotta, I still gotta order propylene glycol for it. It is empty. Um, Shove but, it full of ham. But then Valve's not going to repair it. I'm, <laughs> my Steam Deck is broken and I just sent them a fucking fog machine. <laughs> That would, that, would, that, would, that would be pretty good. Um, yeah, store to linuxgamecast.com. Buy some fucking merch. Uh, we got wish lists at linuxgamecast.com. Put your mouse over the support button. I have one. Jill has one. Pedro has one. Ven has one. Buy me a chair, please, before this one kills me. Buy me some dice so I can continue my awful, you awful gambling need addiction. You Athlon 3000 G2. Please, please get me an Athlon 3000 so that I don't have to disassemble my computer again. I would so give you the 1700, but I need it just in case, man. Right? Yeah, that, that, that's your uh, that's that's your safety. Go hey, buy, go buy one Ven, the a non-green motherboard. It's, it's you wanted this wall? black and You want to be shamed for being bad with your money? I can make that happen. Oh, man, we got expensive. Okay, Super Micro. We talked about this in the pre-brew Super Shows, and I am a irritated fifty dollars oh god i know okay that is way cheaper than the other one so this is okay also again i'm disappointed that it's not green um yeah thread rubber pro stuff uh 
What do I get? I get see, this is another problem we have. I want half of that. <laughs> you got the fifty percent. Yeah. Uh, and old Threadripper processors because I'd like to do that. Yeah, and an emergency. Yeah, I don't have anything terribly interesting in there, but you'd pay for that terrible non-interesting. We do thank you for your support. That's awesome. We gotta we gotta thank some people. We gotta thank uh, Katana Steel. We gotta thank uh, Alex Sk- Thirty One Biz Skibbles, whatever. And we gotta and thank M Bodhi. Yeah, reset uh, on the Twitch. Yeah, good stuff. Um, you know, if you if you if you if you just wanna if you wanna help up the show non monetarily, spread the word, spread some links. We uh, if you Retweet. have uh, or, if you have LGC stickers, put them on random places like Strider's been doing Strider's all over is, LA. Strider's is like fuck it, man. I got, he's got like some bootleg Linux game guest stickers. He's like, uh, yeah, being uh, very uh, punk about that. So yeah. if you see us now, if you've been watching, you're like, yeah, oh, that's where that, yeah, hi. Yeah. Uh, come hang out with us for Trek Mania. We have a good time doing that on Tuesdays. Uh, if you're old, if you you can be young too, but I see the you're demographic. You're old at heart. I see the demographics for our show, man. Like if you're, you know, you're getting into your 30s, maybe in your 40s, maybe you're in your 50s or 60s, and you're like, I want to work on this hand-eye coordination. We got a private server. I throw in 14 curated tracks each and every week. It's not necessarily racing, because I know when I say racing, Jordan would be thinking like, man, I don't know, racing game's not my thing, but you got a taste of the track, Mania, and you're like, you yeah, get it, don't you? Like, yeah, it's, yeah, okay, oh, yeah, it's, it's like, it, it's it's a racing game, but they don't tell you what the track is and where the finish line is, then you kind of have to figure that out on your own. It's a puzzle game, a physics platforming with wheels, and um, we're always live, we do it on Twitch if you just want to come hang out, but yeah, we hop in, we got voice going on. Vote on the maps, and we come together, and I give away some free games on Friday for the people that do the best. Server's up running right now if you want to come hang out. All that information's in Trek Mania's in, but we do have two open spots for Back for Brad, which is we're coming back from Left for Brad. We're back. And we're, and we're doing it right. Yeah, we just started Act 3, right? Yeah. That's me and Jordan. If you want to come hang out with that, oh, you, you don't need a camera. All you need is a microphone so we can we, communicate. Yeah, we need and, to coordinate. It's right. kind of crucial. <laughs> and you need to be around at 7.30 Eastern time when it starts for the live stream. Yeah, it's a, you need a copy of the game, obviously. But outside of that, we'd love to have you because we'd like to get some new people in. Of course, we'd like to get Sandy in. Strider, you're welcome to come. It'd be interesting having Strider. And basically, everybody's ever been in, or some new people. That would be kind of interesting. We, we well. went. We went through uh, most of chapter one with Strider actually when I was streaming it. Uh, so, yeah. See, come back, Strider, and get a Strider, nice, high back. quality recording because that's available to. Hey, that's how I do stuff. It's like Gamecast after all. So of course, there's a 4K, 60, beautiful, <laughs> hmm, immaculate video. Actually, there's a current version up. Uh, the first two episodes are up on YouTube right now. There is mm-hmm. the third one I just posted, uh, I think, night before last for patrons. All right. So if you want to go grab that. Now, let's talk about the future of gaming. And that future okay. of gaming DirectX is 12? Intel. Uh, it sure isn't DX9, <laughs> not according to Intel. Intel Arc Graphics. They did a Q&A. Hardware specs have been explained because they needed to clarify information about upcoming a series uh ryan and tom man how weird is it seeing uh like hang on where's a good shot of that uh, give me a two shot like that that looks weird also it looks like that is a v set that, that okay. yeah that's, that's, that's some green screen right there <laughs> the table and laptop are non-existent in that i'm gonna go ahead and call it uh Call me. Let's see how their audio is. Hang on. I got to be this guy. Stats for nerds. You are uh, almost 6 dB too low on your volume. Call me, Intel. I can help you out. All you got to do is tell me one thing, Intel. That's all I need for payment. When are you going to fuck mothering your lease, the A series? Because that's all anyone cares about. No one. No one needs to hear these specs again. Now, the, I went through this entire video. Video is not too long, is it? Uh, five minutes and 55 seconds. Went through your entire video. Pulled up the transcript on top just to make sure I wasn't missing anything. Like, okay, are you going to give us the one thing we all want? Release dates. Price, gonna, baby? That would, be, that would be nice, too. I would have just been happy with release dates. I, I could have just sit back, maybe not too concerned about the pricing at this point. 
because you had an opportunity. I think this might have very well been one of the last opportunities to buy just a little bit of goodwill for those diehards out there. You could have said, hey, this is what fucked up. This is how we plan on fixing it. Stick with us and um, let's ride this together. This is we're trying to do. The, we're trying to do some good here. But you didn't do that. You went, nope, no nope. marketing. We're going to do some more marketing, Jordan. Can't show weakness. Can't admit you were wrong because reasons. Intel being Intel. I, I mean, here's the reality of it. There's no hype left to hype, Intel. No one can get excited about the same information on year three. Like, yeah, we know. You've been over that. And you know what? I dare to say this, Jordan. What do you think? I want your feedback on this. Those listening at home. People still like genuinely interested in ARC at this point are ones with really big movie collections because they're like, hey, AV1 encoding, that's kind of neat. On that topic, there's about 17 streamers out there, myself included. Then I'm like, yeah, I kind of want to play around with that and like, let's see how that plays out. And a couple of just like Intel fan humans and, you know, a couple of collectors that are like, oh, that'll be a neat collector's item. Um, what do you think? Do you think that's about accurate? Yeah, I, I think yeah. Most mo- most most of what I'm hearing about any sort of anticipation uh, antipis- eh, anticipation for Arc right now was from the content creation people, and I don't I don't know. I I never really fully expected Intel to come out like, oh yeah, our first release is gonna like kick the shit out of like thirty seventy thirty eighty blah blah blah. It was always gonna be uh to to middling fanfare, um. I, 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 I don't know. I, I think Intel in their heart of hearts was hoping that it would not be the case. And so they just continued to live in this fantasy land. And well, I, I, I guess we were talking about in the pre-pre-super shows and this might, this might just be the end of ARC as we know it. Yeah. I mean, six gig, eight gig, you know, they were talking about the ARC 7 series, the Yellow Crusher that they're going to be able to put out 16 gigs. All this is fine and well. All of this is fine and well, but... Let's be honest, at the end of this month, whatever the low, low end of the NVIDIA announcement, whatever that curve is, later this month, it is going to trounce the highest end of this Gen 1 arc stuff. Like, I mean, it's oh, yeah. going to laughably... Like, it, 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 it can't even compete with, like, the, the mid-range stuff now, so... Right. Yeah. And that's kind of the problem. And, I mean, the same goes for AMD whenever they, the RDNA 3 stuff comes out. I mean, it's... it's I, you know, I'm I'm not so, I'm not so sure about that because we 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 do we do have a lot of Valve supported drivers. AMD AMD is a much better love story on Linux now than it ever has. Now when I when I say AMD are, is going to be in the same position as Intel of just doing victory laps around the best thing that right Arc is going to oh, be yeah, like yeah, right, seven right, right, series yeah. right right okay okay yeah. that's what I'm saying about that and you know in that same line I don't see any of your AIB the you know your EVGAs or gigabyte or msi i don't see any of your partners like really wanting to invest in the time and money right now and like buying those gpus and making those cards for something that might with emphasis on eventually kind of match a three-year-old 3070 on the high yeah like i don't don't see the we we already heard some stuff from uh the atom board partners as well from uh that moore's laws is not dead uh article a couple weeks ago where a couple of the aib aib people were like yeah we're just kind of waiting for this to run its course hopefully we won't actually have to make anything oh man can you imagine you're like because like that there's no there's no win there that's what i said like last week there's no win in this at all there's nothing that can be done and you 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 can you can fail gracefully and say like okay well next time we'll be better we we've learned our lesson in all fairness you know intel planned on having this, this stuff out q1 of this year and you know things 100 percent things outside of intel's control that this is not like oh intel just fucked the bolt no like yeah but extenuating circumstances and things intel didn't have any control over like shit i mean this couldn't have went worse if you tried to yeah. design it to make a movie about it to write the script i'm like no i'd stick with what wait what happened um yeah there, there was a pandemic and then a boat got stuck and then a war started <laughs> right and here's the sad thing the industry needs intel to pull this off 
Like Intel doesn't need Intel to pull this off as the problem. We 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 as the consumer need a player three. Absolutely. Right. And Intel's like, yeah, just write it off. Uh but we need that art category. We we need player three just to so we're not stuck with what will eventually probably happen is like this duopoly system. We know how well duopolies work out. Oh yeah, I know the prices stay high and quality slowly gets worse. Got it. Yeah, with that, those new 4000 series, you're going to need to buy a new power supply anyways. I'm looking forward to doing my own little PSU swap. I don't swap. see... Uh, I even touched on this last week. I, I don't see Intel taking the L and saying, okay, you know what? We're going to push out the top end 7 series for 199 Which Yeah, just, move, just move, move, move units, generate some goodwill. Yeah, Right. You know, have the populace know what the hell an arc is. Yeah, and at least like when people are using it, bug reports get filed. You know, um, like shit will get fixed eventually. Mm-hmm. Oh, I feel I feel bad for anyone who's gonna like pick up an Arc GPU and they're like, "Man, I look forward to years of support." I hope the Mesa project. Well, you know what? We'll we'll get to that in a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I actually. mean, three series, whatever, maybe mobile, Arc Five. I don't like maybe for the EV one encoder, Arc Seven. For your retro gaming machines, plus AV1 encoder, um, there's just like 8 to 16. And that's another thing, though. I mean, like, okay, only on the highest of high end on the Arc 7 yeah. are you getting that 16 uh, gig. Yeah. Not even on the 750. Right. I mean, the only interest, I think, is the highest of high end. And even then, that's going to have to be a sub $200 card. Or no one's going to care about it. Because, again, at the end of this month, everyone goes, oh, NVIDIA is going to announce the 4070 for whatever. And like, then we got to deal with the legitimate tsunami of cards in the used yeah. market right now. Yeah. Everyone, everyone's going to be ditching their 3070s, 3080s, 3090s mm-hmm. to get the new hotness. Yeah. You know, it's going to be a good time to try and pick up a new video card. You might even be able to run some new FSR stuff on it. You know, the, one of the cool things about FSR is you can run it on your NVIDIA card. Maybe you could be, you could run it on the, uh, your art card, you know, maybe, maybe, but you can run it a little bit better. You can run the new stuff. I'm talking about FX. Well, FSR, not to 2.1. This is the new hotness. Now we got to take a look at this because I'm reading the article over at, um, gpopen.com, right? Mm-hmm. Links all this in our show notes, by Thank the way. You. Yeah. Uh, and I'm like, okay, that's interesting. So if you don't know, super scaling, you know, it's like the, open source cool answer to um DLSS. DLSS. Yep. And I was like, okay, building on the success of F- FSR2 earlier this year, da da da. And I scrolled down, my first thought was that's a weird looking video card. Who makes that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they were talking about farming simulator and it's a like drag of course I had JavaScript disabled, so I didn't even have that. And I'm like, well who makes that? But yeah, that's one of the things for Ming Simulator 2022. Don't talk ill of it or somebody will cut you. What's new? Um, Improved upscale output quality. Let's go sing. FSR 2. The API is not changed. So jump in. Have some fun with it. You can, you can uh, see in the image comparison, actually, if you scroll up a little bit, um, mm-hmm. the, 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 uh, the, the, the tractor, uh, had like in, I, I don't know what they're, they're called the fucking prongs or whatever. Uh, they were drifting behind quite a bit with the FSR up, uh, with the FSR one point or 2.0, uh, upscaling with 2.1. That is a Which lot one? clearer. Okay. Yeah. You, 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 you see on the, uh, on the left-hand side, like those, those prongs go on for a very long time and then they stop in the other one. What if, yeah, the, the, what, what, what if they're ghost prongs? I don't know, man. Ooh, then we, we gotta, we gotta call Bruce Willis. That. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it, it definitely, it definitely looks, um, uh, improved. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll say that, uh, this, this will be good for running games at like, uh, lower, lower resolutions, having it, or, uh, and then, uh, having it scaled up, make it look a lot nicer, uh, helps with the performance. Yeah, I guess, I guess, but, uh, unlike FSR 1.0, this can't actually be implemented in a compositor. It does nope. need to happen in the game itself, but Hey, it's a uh, relatively open standard, so you can utilize it and should work. And they're adding a ton of games to this. And I under. <laughs> AMD did the good thing there, not because they wanted to, but because they had to. And it was great for us as consumers is FSR runs on everything. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, okay, one of the neat things about having an NVIDIA card is like, I want to play with a DLSS. I'm like, ah, uh, now I'm going to play with, you can do the AB comparison, find which mm-hmm. one works best in your situation. Jordan, do you think you'll finally upgrade to like one of the fancy Moon 20 series? And do you, you're going to get an AMD card? I don't know. I don't know. I like. Um. I. I haven't. I haven't decided. I. I want to see what. Uh. Intel or what Nvidia puts out, and I want to see what AMD puts out, mm. and I'm gonna make the decision then. The. I think the. The main problem I have with uh, the Nvidia side is they're still keeping the memory count low. That's still. They're still doing like eight gigs for some of like the 4070s and stuff from at least from the rumor mill. And I would. I don't want to drop below ten. You want at least twelve, right? Yeah, because I mean, I got I got eleven on this card, so I don't want to I don't want to move backwards on the. Yeah. So yeah, well, I'll, I'll really really got to see what the offerings are. I'd be surprised if they went eight because you know they uh, did all the refreshes with uh, the thirty series, like with twelve gigs. Yeah, I, I I don't know this this has just been what I'm reading, but like again, it's all it's all rumor mill until. Nvidia NVIDIA comes out and says like, well, here's what the 30 or 40, 70 is going to be. Here's what the 40 is going to be, blah, blah, blah. Right. So, and you know, I look forward to that announcement. So I can go and I'll wait around until you tell me about the 40, 60. Yes. Yeah. I I, I screwed myself. I got a 1080. So Mm. I'm like, uh, anything, anything new has to be like a substantial improvement. Otherwise it's not worth it. Yeah, this is true. Uh, you know, normally I get to skirt the like probably every three, three and a half years and like update to the latest and greatest basic bench model. That's always yeah. um, the, 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 the upper mid range. Yeah. The the one that. Yeah. What, what do you even call like the, the 30? Because it's not like, oh, the peasant one, but it's the one that qualifies the discrete GPU. You know, like it's not the 3050. Yeah, like the they're 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 the cards you need just to like have a GPU in the system to boot, mm-hmm. and then like and you 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 can play some games on like low and medium, but I think like yeah the the up the upper mid range is where like the sixties are like not the like the 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 X seventy or whatever like the forty seventies that's gonna be like the low high end versus like the the forty ninety which is gonna be like the high high end. So I think yeah the forty sixty is gonna be like the the high mid range. Maybe they'll make the 4061. Maybe. 4069? It won't the, matter, man. It it's the nicest GPU. None of it matters because we're all just going to be playing games over the internet on the cloud. Oh, uh, yeah, but not not over Stadia. Stadia, uh, according, according to Input Mag and this report from Business Insider, this very, very lengthy report that I had to read through the entirety of. <laughs> um, yeah, it's... It's going away. Um, the 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 internal team is maybe being disbanded. I don't know. Here here's the thing. We, we every every couple of weeks we talk about Stadia, and this is some weird death vigil shit. Because like yeah, all the available evidence we have as like public people, uh, and completely blind to the behind the scenes happenings behind at, at Alphabet or whatever. Uh, w- everything we've seen so far really points to Stadia getting axed. But until Google actually says, hey, we're pulling the plug on this, it's a big shrug emoji. And like a, a, a lot of game studios have like been hesitant to port their games to Stadia because you know, is it going to be around in a couple of years? Is it worth it? We're kind of in like the Schrodinger's game streaming platform area with... Uh, with well, I with, think uh, anything that Google announces is as far as a product wise is doomed to begin with uh just because we all know it's doomed to begin with yeah they they they, they really gotta like stick to their guns if they if they want to start fighting this like the the, the curse of google the I, perfect I don't track know record of killing yeah. anything remotely interesting yeah, yeah. here's here, the reason i even want to put this in the notes and bring it up though like the phil harrison who was the stadia's head according to a report from the insider which is paywalled unfortunately but He's not even going to report to like Google's head of devices and services now. He's going to be like the VP of subscription services. Mm. Like, so, and I mean, you know what? All of this fits in though. It does fit in. Why? Because we've already talked about like Google's just white boxing, white labeling the service. Like, hey, you want some Stadia like features and all that? Okay, here you go. De- Destiny's uh, looking into it via Bungie. Peloton is releasing a, like a fitness game that uses it. AT&T I mean, like, lets you play the goddamn Batman. Like, yeah, I, I mean, like there, there's there's definitely a place for it, um, but like not for high performance games like like uh, stuff like Destiny. I don't know, uh, but like I I definitely see something like a Peloton or like exercise equipment or like virtual teaching being like a very good use case for Stadia. 
Uh, and I'd like to see it developed in, in that capacity. But as someone who likes to, you know, play games, I don't, th- it was, it was never, it was never a good value add. No, I mean, it was ridiculous with the pricing structure of like, hey, pay your monthly charge. I'm like, do I get games? Like, yes, if you buy them. Like, well, you- well if you, re- if you rent the, if you pay a fee to rent them for an extended period of time. Right. Now, this is where it gets like weird and sticky because I don't think anybody's really got a good idea about this because I was watching uh, the Hubisoft announcement and they announced today that beginning of next year or later at the end of this year, the current Trackmania, Trackmania 2020, is coming to Stadia along with other consoles. But not the, not the Switch because fuck the Switch for some reason. <laughs> it requires people to port things to the Switch. What's coming to the uh, PlayStation 5 and uh, Xbox, whatever the hell it is now? The Series S, Series yeah. X. I, 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 think, I think they're just trying to get people to call it Xbox as like some kind of unified platform. I think platform. the problem with the Switch port is not so much, it is more like, we don't feel like rewriting the game. I, yeah, like how 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 low can we crank the graphics <laughs> to like ha- let the thing have more than five minutes of battery life? But yeah, being, being on state, I mean, there's still the, occasional announcement it's not like because you know google's not cutting them checks yeah like they used to so and and you know what maybe maybe this was like all prearranged back when like stadia was promised to be uh like a like a bigger thing right the the contract was already inked they can't get out of it we we, we don't know these things i mean it's ubisoft we're talking about uh, assassin's creed odyssey was the game i played like five years ago before stadia was Uh, even had a name right and we were beta testing it and i got a free copy of that thanks to that but ubisoft's familiar with this so maybe they're like "Mm, whatever we already did the work maybe who knows triple damnation no double damn yeah uh this is uh, on github Ah, this is on GitHub. It's kind of nice because uh, the yellow architect, a guy with a very, very uh, ambiguous uh, accent who put a bunch of distortion on his videos linked in this uh, in this GitHub page, uh, released the source code for his game, Double Damnation, uh, on Steam. You can buy it um, or you can download it and uh, or you can check out the source and build it yourself. Um, it's also available on. Uh, yeah, it's um, a co-op Metroidvania um, that that uh, is that why on- it requires a controller and dun 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 a friend. What if you want to play yes. it with your mortal enemy? Well, then you got to tra- chain them down and like you got to f- maybe you need like one of those split hand controllers so you can have like them handcuffed and still play. But uh, this is a physics based Metroidvania where uh, all of the all of the like advanced strats are available to you from the beginning. But the idea is like until you fuck around with the system and like learn all the tricks, you won't necessarily know what they are. And so um, it's, it's an interesting concept. Uh, it is open source, but you're going to need Unity to uh, you're going to need Unity 2018 to uh, build this. And right now, uh, right now, there is only uh, Windows support. Uh, but, you know, the guy is saying he's accepting pull requests. So, you know, maybe someone's going to be brave enough to try and click export and fix some platform specific bugs. Maybe also add some online multiplayer while you're at it. This is true. I'm in GPL V3, and you can use most of the assets without permission as long as you don't monetize them. That's kind of like how we threw all of our content out. You know, Creative mm-hmm. Commons, share alike, re- attribution required, uh, no commercial. Mm-hmm. So you're good there. Um, it's very much uh, like my first game vibe, but I mean, it mm-hmm. looks all right for what it is. And, but to your point, Jordan, yeah, pe- people would actually play it, and that's not a dig on anything other than like couch co op can get fucked. I mean, it's 2022, even if you, even if it's my roommate in the next room, like we're going to be playing online. Yeah. We, it's not like they don't, my roommate doesn't have a computer, right? Like, right. Like we're not both going to get up and go to, go a, to the dead. A third room. Right. Yeah. Like, so here's your pro tip. If you learned anything through the dark times, the past couple of years, with all the shutdowns, like you need to have online multiplayer built into your game. If you plan on doing some type of uh, versus or co-op experience and remote play is not, not a, a solution not a substitute not, not a at substitute. All. however vulcan has been a very good substitute to dx12 yes yes um but you know uh there I'll, I'll, when you're when you're on windows you get drivers from you know amd or nvidia or intel when you're on Linux, Nuh-uh, I get it from downloadfreedrivers.ru.windowsdrivers.ru.exe. Yeah, uh-huh. absolutely. It's awesome. Yeah, uh, 
but uh, a, lo- a lot of, uh, with with the exception of uh, AMD and uh, NVIDIA, uh, well, so, some, sometimes AMD and NVIDIA, uh, you get your uh, drivers, your 3D drivers for video cards from Mesa. And uh, Mesa is actually, it's an umbrella project. There's actually like many drivers that Mesa supports. Uh, and there's a bit of a challenge because... Um, Every every driver, every video card is designed differently, and Vulcan is designed with a particular model in mind um, that is not necessarily reflected in the real world. I'm going to do my best to summarize this article because it is very, very long and very in depth, and I am not a 3D math person or a programmer. This is so way above my pay grade, but at least Jordan, you could uh, suss out what needs to get sussed out. And I, yeah, uh, hey, I tr- I'm going to try. All Mark. Right. From Cal- Calabra, Calabora, Calabora. Wrote in. He was like, hey, by the way, we did this thing. It's pretty fucking neat. You want to talk about it? So here we are. Yes. Yes, Strider. Yeah. The drivers exist in the kernel. Mesa is the OpenGL Vulcan implementation. I'm being glib and simplifying stuff for the sake of the dum dums like me. Um, but, anyways, uh, so the. The root cause of this problem was the VKEXT graphics pipeline libraries extension, which, uh, according to the article, is an extension allows a client to create a pipeline that consists only of a subset of the shaders and state and link those partial pipelines together to perform to form a complete graphics pipeline. The article goes in on how um, direct referencing versus indirect referencing uh of or indirect rendering versus direct rendering happens, uh, the constructions of the uh, objects in Vulkan and sort of the difficulties of having, uh, of like, here's how Intel does this, here's how AMD does this, this is how NVIDIA does it. It's all very different. Uh, and so they have, uh, they have come together with a common library, a common set of functions to implement these sorts of pipeline changes so that it doesn't have to be re-engineered across every driver. Uh, the end result for this particular bit of work is that a thousand lines of code from the Intel driver have been replaced by this common set of hunk- functions and it should help ease the burden in implementing new extensions across the many Mesa drivers in the future. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, this is, this is, this is good news. This is going to be, uh, very crucial for the long-term health of the Mathis project. It's going to be a lot better for like when, uh, when new Vulcan extensions get released, uh, the adoption will be, uh, will be increased so that, you know, you, uh, Mesa will have more consistent drivers. It's not going to be like, oh, well, if you're on Intel, you get these features, but if you're on AMD, you get these features, which was the case for a while. I remember when we were talking about Mesa matrix updates, when we were praying for like good open. GL support on uh, AMD. So, right? Yeah. Vulcan's Try, trying, been, trying to get away from that. Dude, uh, very, very like, fun to cheer on success story, isn't it? Because yeah. like, you, you got to remember, like, even like three years ago, because I'm sure, like, like me, a lot of you at home, you watch like tech pundits and stuff, like YouTubers and stuff like that, hesitant. Like, some would just avoid bringing up Vulcan rendering one like dx12 dx11 like oh, by the way you know it's got a vulcan rendering yeah it's weird yeah. now you gotta bring it up you can't ignore it vulcan's the mm-hmm. thing it's cross-platform works everywhere and microsoft gonna have to write some more damn checks if i want to get dx13 out like either that what are we gonna get visual vulcan no, oh, d- d- sooner than you think mm. there's the there's the vs code extension for it or something i don't know I don't know. I think Vulcan has just been a very interesting success story, and it's good that they're making it easier to use. And I mean, it literally works everywhere, including mobile. Yep. Uh, then, like that—that's the big thing—is like not having to have separate render paths for you know fucking everything. Mm-hmm. Especially DirectX 12, where even though it's a unified platform, there's the DX12 that runs on the Xbox, and then there's the DX12 that runs on PC. They are not the same. Um, yeah, mm, I mean, but you know, you know, maybe may, may, maybe you could uh, take out your frustrations on. I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I have an announcement for everybody that you should be excited about, especially if you're a certain age. Our BFS Bethesda have an announcement for Wolfenstein Enemy Territory, the original one from like 1990, what the fuck ever it was. Official dedicated server update to which you'll go. But why? (laughs) Okay, let me read this. We're excited to announce that we've developed official dedicated servers for Wolfenstein enemy territory. 
Though the community has hosted and continues to host servers with a variety of mods and custom maps that we highly recommend, we also understand that many players are looking for a more nostalgic experience. So starting now, you will be able to find the official servers running vanilla ET Campagon rule set. No with, punk buster either. Mm -hmm. With all six original maps, no mods. We've set with servers across multiple territories to better ensure players uh, from around the world can play with a relatively low ping. And they give the regions and all of this fun Tex stuff. Texas, so. Netherlands, Canberra, and London are the servers. On behalf have. of the entire fucking internet, what the hell are you actually up to, Bethesda? Huh? So, my, here, here, here is my theory. Cause Jordan, because it ain't this. There's, there, there's, it's Bethesda. They're up to something. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. fucking yeah. with my childhood, man. This is personal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I was playing so this shit on Linux natively with Punk Buster. I don't think I had Punk Buster enabled. Well, so, so here's, here's the deal. Uh, if you scroll down on the bottom of the article, it says that, oh, yeah, by the way, while we're doing this, we're also releasing uh, enemy territories on the Microsoft Store. So maybe this is a Game Pass thing. Maybe maybe they're going to be saying that, like, hey, Wolfenstein Stein enemy territory is now free on Game Pass. Here are some dedicated servers that you can get playing with. I don't know. That To me, that seems like the most likely explanation. It could just be an elaborate hoax, though. Like, ah, by signing into these dedicated servers, you have given us possession of your firstborn child and your kidney. Are they going to Bethmaster my ET? Uh, they, they, they might make Keylock into Bethesda net, but uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe. Oh, man. Because, you know, I, I want to think back and think about enemy territory and pretend I'm fucking ice skating into, across the ocean onto the shore. Like, I feel like every time I'm playing Quake. Wee. Yeah, right? Your physics are all wrong in that night dive, and you know it. I know it. Everybody knows it. You fucked up Quake. But Bethesda found a way to make Quake something that has been open source for three decades closed source again. Yeah. That's how, that's how you do it. Why, why would you want to have people preserve your games when you can just make them buy Skyrim again? I want to... Everyone keep an ear out, because we all... Every one of us knows this... There's part two to this. This Bethesda doesn't just do something good. I don't believe it. They yeah. I I mean yeah. Just gotta gotta wait for the other shoe to drop. Uh, speaking of drops, I think that's the end of this segment. <laughs> Professional coming up next. Uh, werewolf. Werewolf. Hairwolf. There. Oh, well, it's time for the hate mail. That's right. Where you can write into the show. You can leave a comment. You can do that. You want to leave a comment on Patreon? You know what? Hey, you're a boss. We'll get back to you. We might even talk about it on the show. Voicemails. That option is available on Spotify, Anchor. If you want to go that route, if you're brave, adventurous, we'd love to hear from you. YouTube. Go ahead. Join in the chaos that is there. But the best way to do it is head over to LinuxGameCast.com where we have a contact page. Because I've always said, hey, Let's make it wicked simple to get a hold to us. Here it is. And you do it. And, you know, it's like the person licking the outside of the glass sometimes. I'm like, come on, just just, just do it like this. Do you ever have that problem, Jordan? But like, just licking glass? Yeah, sometimes. Uh, not to compound the issue. <laughs> um, <laughs> have you ever, like, went looking for a contact page or something like that for not necessarily a show, but even a company? I'm like, how do I fucking scream at you motherfuckers? I just got... Right, yeah. Uh, do, do, you want, do you want our email or instant chat service? No, I want to talk to a human. Right. Like, can I just shoot you a, you know, an asymmetrical message that maybe you can get back, like, to talk to us? Like, yeah, easy. No, no, live chat. Hey, I hate that. I hate that. Yeah. We don't have a lot. Well, we have live chat. It's Discord. You can have replies yeah. in this one if you want, man. Go ahead and knock yourself out. Knock yourself out. But topical, because this is the last week we can bring this up. Uh, you want to take it? Yeah, sure. Uh, so uh, this is from Synthetic Owl or Synthetic Towel. I don't, I don't know. Uh, you you want to get high? I do. I uh, just finished episode 523. So Pedro's off the show with hardly a word. That's cold. I guess you two NVIDIA shells couldn't uh, tolerate him switching to a Radeon GPU. Well, Countly is one less viewer. 
or ellipse, was Pedro fired because he got a Steam Deck and kept rubbing your faces in it? In which case, I 100% support your actions. Frankly, the cockley bastard should have been canned weeks ago. Anyways, looking forward to the future appearances by, I forget his name, RBG, RGB Wolfman Guy. Ah, you mean RGBO Loop Graffet, Pierre Loop Graffet's uh, <laughs> cousin, I guess. I don't know. Who is constantly lit, clad in green, red, and blue lights. RGBO. Oh man, uh, no, is a uh, RGB uh, encumbered raving? Uh, yeah, no. Um, you should know by now. We have a long time honored tradition of uh, Pedro dying at least once yeah. a year. Sometimes it's three weeks, sometimes it's six weeks, but you know Pedro got to die each and every year. That's how he rolls, man. It's it's like the Odin sleep, right? Yeah. Like he's got he's got a or like Colin Robinson. That's there there that that's a reference. Um. And he's none the wiser to it. He doesn't pay attention to it. He's still, he's like, oh yeah, I, I met this girl in the like Nori's an employee for us, man. She just keeps track of him. You know, make sure yeah. he gets from point A to point B. Yeah, it's it's like one of, it's like a Jane Goodall situation. She's like a wilderness observer. Well, it's you more know? like a Total Recall. To be <laughs> which which part? You gotta, you gotta be more specific there. Yes. The reactor queen. The reactor. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever watch the uh, remake? No, I could never bring myself to do it. Cause do you, like, I'm not going to say do yourself a favor. Here's what I'll say to take the edge off of it. It has nothing to do with Total Recall. No, yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm aware of that. Like, for based based on the trailers, but it's like the original is is perfect. It's it's a great it's a great little movie. I don't want to I don't want to fucking ruin it by having another crappy version in my brain. Yeah, that, if you look at it like, well, like, I watched the entire movie. I'm like, this is a decent sci-fi flick. It has nothing to do with Total Recall. And like, I, I, I guess it's like uh, the the RoboCop remake, which was like all right, but it was it had nothing to do with RoboCop aside from the fact that there was a Robert Cop. Well, you know what? That had a lot more to do with it than Total Recall did. Okay. Yeah, it's like, oh yeah, the one about Mars. No Mars in this one. Oh, no, hmm. no Mars. No, get your ass to no. Mars. Uh-uh. No, no, so, no, no. Mm. Senator Kinsey having his eyes <laughs> popping out. Yeah. <laughs> So uh yeah, uh don't worry. And the the RGB Wolf guy that is one empty in Shadow Realm. RGBO. Yeah. Long time. Love him long time. And the uh, week before, yeah, that was and last week was Sandy. And yeah. people went around almost the entire time. It is kind of really but thank you for writing in and sharing your thoughts on episode five hundred and twenty three. Jordan, do we have any famous last words for no, I, I, I think that's it for episode 525. 525 has happened. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get in touch with me, at Vin Stone on Twitter. That's where I do the things. Uh, at Vin, at mass.lennysteamcast.com. Always available to hang out in our Discord. Or just at, at Vin and IRC or any place like that. I'll get back to you. I do the things. I'm pretty social. I, I am not RGBO. I'm just regular Jordan. RGBO. Uh, our our oh, Jorbio. Three PO's raving. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just our Jorbio now. Right. Uh, follow me on Twitter at the Burning Fool or twitch.tv slash Burning Fool. <laughs> Damn it! Now I wanted. I should have like a little casket. I can wiggle it around. Like, <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna roll some credits. Yeah, you get moist, moisturize me. Moisturize me. <laughs> Moisturize me, mm, doctor. Man, what if she showed up in fucking House of the Dragon? They just wheel her out. <laughs> Fine, I'd roll with it. Yeah. Well, we gotta thank our advisors, our stretched out Omegas, our stretched out Artharon, and our executive producers. Oh, it's a little wizard. It's a little it's shitty wizard. wizard. Yeah. Right. Barbara M. Scott Michaud, Atomic Cast, Mike G, Mike T, Drummer, Kohaku, George, Pebble, Tomaj, Unoid, and our little Nick fan, Abstraction. Sea Monsters bringing it to you, bringing the pain like Ronald Ryder X Machina, Truggy Verifanuda, Justin Frosty, Nubbin, David, Darkwing, and System T. We got Death Notes as well. Dove, okay, Basil, Chad B, Romeo, Marson, Renee, Leonardo, Nemo, Kim, Smashly G, Chris, Steve, Jill, Benjamin, Doom 2.1, Steve B. There's so many of them. Svine, Miss Fox Dog, Stein. Effectively a rave of chairlings, RGB chairlings. All over your yeah. face, just and neck. There's a lot of them to read. Yeah. Yeah. Vondro, Rudy, Egal, Dementor, Daniel, Oil of Hope, uh, <laughs> Sacred Egg, Fellatio, Ogiwan, Strider's there. 
And the fuckers, the people glowing Climate behind them. Climate cannibals that will probably not eat your ankles, but be warned. Carl Mike Arthur and Linux New World, he's not close. John E. Shepton Game Motron. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for getting out with us in this stereo version of LGC, like the old days, the old school, Classic. The, easy, the super easy for me to edit version. Um, uh, Dynafire? Bye bye. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Original fuck. witty closer goes here. F- f- fuck off and die. <laughs> you know we love you. See you next week. Five dudes. <laughs>